afternoon and welcome to Bistex ASEAN Midday Market Watch. Our guest today is market strategist Stephen Innes. He's the chief global market strategist at Axie. Steve, nice to have you on the show again. Thanks for having me, Brian. Good to see you. Now, Steve, before we speak to you, let's take a look at how markets across the region are performing right now. We'll start very close to home. The SGX is at 3,110.35. It's up 1.28%. Bursa Malaysia is at 1,621.6. It's up 0.61%. Across to the Nikkei, the Nikkei is up 0.64% at 28,926.76. Shanghai Composite is down. Uh, it's negative uh, 0.18% at 3,415.23. The Hang Seng is up 1.35% at 28,924.92. The ASX 200 is up 0.43% at 6,768.60. And rounding off, we have the Kospi, which is down 1.06%. Now, what's your view on how markets have performed this morning, Steve? It's just intervention. The uh, There's uh, reports that... Um that the team uh, China has been intervening in the market through state uh, state related funds. And this is supporting equity markets. We had a sizable sell off in the CSI 300 earlier this morning, down about 3.2% in the back of higher US yields. But that seems to be uh, getting driven flat today by the intervention. Oil prices gold are following suit, uh, recovering on overnight losses. Really the follow through to FX is a slightly weaker dollar. How long this lasts, I'm not really sure. I still consider the uh, overriding theme is higher U.S. yields, and that's not going to stop. U.S. yields are going to continue to move higher uh, in conjunction with more stimulus coming to the market as the market continues to repri reprice in inflation pressures. Just a little bit of a detente in the market because of intervention. Steve, overnight the Dow rose 300 points, a touch of new record. The Nasdaq, however, shed 2%. Essentially, rotation out of tech has continued. Would you subscribe to the view that the overnight views were uh, most were really driven by cyclicals and banks, which, given an overall optimism in the markets about economic outlook and also the impact of steeper yield curves? It's it's just inflation. Uh, markets are hedging against possible inflation by buying banks, and they're selling techs because uh, you know the buyers of tech and buyers of of long duration assets like bonds will be dust. Uh, in the first hint of inflation. This is what's worrying investors is the fact that the Feds may be falling behind the curve. Right now, they're sort of listening to the Fed, suggesting that inflation is going to be transitory. If it's not in transitory, the, the Fed's going to fall behind the curve and they're going to be forced to play catch up. Right now, the market doesn't want to own any long duration. Well, if they do want to own it very, very lightly, so there's not that much of a bid. A little bit of a bid came back in the intervention here, but that's mostly just short-term spec plays. Bigger players, longer term investments, if you ask anybody in the prime brokering uh, side of the business, it hasn't come back yet because there's no money flowing through prime brokers, there's no need for leverage. And this is a real uh, sign that, um, that risk assets remain very, very fragile in, in the face of uh, higher US yields, not untypically. So on the other hand, um, these higher yields point to economic growth, economic growth points to value in stock. And that's where people are putting their money now. They're putting their money in value stocks. Will that mean uh, indexes will never go higher? Of course not. It just means that while we're going through that rotation of selling uh, longer duration assets to pick up some of the underlying uh, pieces of the puzzle, um, you know, it's going to be a little bit of a back and forth battle before, it's, before stocks finally go higher. I see there's a widening policy difference between the US and China uh, with regard to stimulus. Um, you know, U.S. is uh, decidedly expansionary. The China is decidedly more cautious. Now, this is going to strain exchange rates and also reshape, uh, reshape global capital flows. What's your view on the impact of this divergence on markets? Well, it's bad. It's bad. And we actually saw that today um, come into play in the CSI getting getting pummeled right out of the gates this morning because uh, the thought here there was that um, the PBOC was going to tighten monetary policy. However, things have sort of resolved around a little bit right now. Risk assets are breathing because of the intervention. Intervention doesn't have lasting legs, in my view. I think it very eventually gives away to economics of reality. And the economics of reality right now are pointing to steeper yield curves 
curve, more inflation coming in. And that's the situation. Asia's inflation is slightly different. Um, if you look at central banks around the region, they may be welcoming uh, a more weaker currency simply because inflation r remains rather tepid. Weaker, weaker currency could pick up inflation. This could be a central bank tactic going forward. So there's not going to be any pushback against weaker currencies in the region, in my view. Now, Steve, looking ahead at the rest of the week, what events and data points should we be watching out for that will move markets? Anything that's going to signal inflation, PPI, for instance. But right now, I think the market's looking through this week to what the Feds are going to be doing next week. I think it's going to be very critical how they reintroduce or how they re or how they integrate the uh, 1.9 US tri trillion stimulus package into the review. Will that mean they're going to shift some interest rate hikes closer along the curve? That's going to be the big tell uh, next week. And I think the markets are sort of already pre-positioning for that onslaught next week. Now, Steve, once again, thank you very much for your insights. Thanks for having me, Brian. Now, we've been speaking to Stephen Innes, Chief Global Market Strategist at Axie on ASEAN Midday Market Watch. I'm Brian Fernandez. Check out www.biztech.asia for business and technology conversations.